So I think we're ready for actually after all this, <laughs> uh, all these words, heartfelt words, but um, Yelp is a great pleasure to give you this award. It, though I chose to ignore it at the time, were my commanders in the Israeli army. Uh, I grew up in Israel where military service is compulsory. So when I graduated from high school, I joined the army. After I completed my basic training, my commanders urged me to sign up for officer's training course. But these were the early 70s and I was a hippie. <laughs> and, uh, and the last thing on my mind was a military career. I also didn't think I could deal with all those military acronyms. <laughs> Little did I know what was awaiting me in the world. So I served my two years as a private and didn't gain any leadership skills or any other useful skills for that matter. Well, except for one. During many hours of guard duty, I became really good at killing flies. <laughs> uh, in the years that followed, I pursued a career in fashion design. But as time went by, I realized that the things I enjoyed most were organizational in nature, improving production workflow, developing a system for recording information on each design, and creating a fabric library. Sounds a lot like cataloging, doesn't it? <laughs> I finally found my way to librarianship, and when I hit cataloging, I knew I arrived. <laughs> it was a perfect fit. I was particularly <coughs> lucky to work with Carol Shapiro, who is now retired, who guided me through the intricacies of cataloging and provided me with valuable historical and many uh, context for many cataloging rules and practices. But I still wasn't contemplating any leadership roles. It was my boss, Mary McKee who recognized this potential in me and urged me during one of our annual evaluation meetings to get more involved in the profession. Since I'm not one to jump into cold water head first, I began by carefully dipping my toes in the professional pool. Before I knew it though, I find myself in very deep water with inherently legal subject ethics <laughs> project. And other project soon followed. The ones who helped me keep afloat are the wonderful colleagues who worked with me over the past few years. And I thank each and every one of you for making my work so enjoyable and fulfilling. All of you who participated in the Inherently Legal Subject Heads project and my tireless colleagues at the task group on vendor supplied bibliographic records chaired by Angela Jones and Alan Keeling. Thanks to the many who contributed to the development of the law genre form terms and to those currently working with me on the very challenging genre form implementation project. Special thanks to the dedicated members of the genre form editorial group who have been working on this project since 2008. They include Leah Contorsi, Cindy May, Ellen McGrath, George Prager, Robert Randall, and the one and only Yolanda Goldberg, <laughs> <laughs> whose encyclopedic knowledge proved invaluable throughout the project. And although she's not here today, thank you, Mary Whited, for all your support and for years of excellent cataloging advice. Many thanks to my boss and dear friend, Mary McKee, for giving me all the space and practical and emotional support I need to pursue my professional activities. 
Thank you, Bob Nissenbaum, our library director, for providing me with the support, time off, and funding for attending workshops and conferences. George Prager, my comrade in arms, thank you for being with me every step of the way and for regularly entertaining me with your subversive sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Godfrey, who, what, who used to be my co-worker at Fordham and who was one of the driving forces behind this nomination. Thank you for proving to me that with patience and a lot of goodwill, challenging relationships can blossom into fruitful collaborations and strong friendships. Members of the New York Beck Group, thank you for providing fellow Beckers with a supportive platform for testing their ideas and their presentation skills. Many, many thanks to Linda Selby and the rest of the awards committee for considering me worthy of this prestigious award. I must admit that when I received that phone call, I was totally taken by surprise, and I still haven't fully recovered. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, my husband Ken and my son Guy, who are here with me today. Ken, thank you for years of patiently listening to me going on and on <laughs> about Ferber, genre form, data analysis, discovery platforms, linked data, and all those other boring things I get so passionate about. I knew you got cataloging when after describing some issues with data at work, you said, what we need is authority control. <laughs> Guy, you warmed my heart several months ago when you told me that you prefer a summer job in an academic rather than the public library because you feel much more at home in stacks with LC classification. 